So I've just been spending some afternoons taking all the stickers off the caravan. So obviously, because we're going to get it wrapped, but you can see the kind of the color difference on how, how much it's actually faded from being in the sun. But just going to spend the next um, few hours. I've got this whole side nearly done. I was going to do above, above the awning up there. But this side only took me probably 15 minutes to get all these stickers off. They're coming off pretty easy, so get the rest of these off. Uh, but yeah, just uh, trying to put in a little bit of effort each afternoon after work, so that way it's not just kind of all hands on deck when I actually take it down to get wrapped. I want to get a heap of work done to it first. Uh, just makes wrapping it a lot easier. from an absolutely freezing Sunday afternoon here on the farm. Currently sitting in the caravan, working out a bunch of stuff before the next trip. So you guys would have seen the wrap that we did on the caravan uh, in the Fraser trip. Obviously, I didn't say much about that because we didn't finish it. So wanted to try and leave it till we got back and got the rest of the wrap finished off uh, before I showed you guys exactly what we did. So. Had the HQ-17, obviously I pulled all the decals off the HQ-17. Obviously that van was silver, the van, well the van is silver underneath the new wrap. Uh, pulled all the decals off, got it all cleaned up, ready for the new wrap to go on. Uh, didn't get it done, didn't get everything done before Fraser, just with some things that happened. So unfortunately took it up to Fraser the way it was, brought it back, got it all dialed now. So I'm going to show you today exactly what we did. Uh, Trent down there at Ink and Scratch at Redhead. And yeah, Newcastle absolutely nailed it, got it all sorted for me, and it looks absolutely sick. And just gives the van just a, a bright, new, modern sort of look um, with all the branding on it. And it just looks absolutely wicked. So I can't thank him enough. It looks sick. I'm so happy with how it turned out. <laughs> it's pretty bloody, pretty bloody cold today. So, um, yeah, stacking up the stuff for the next video, which is going to be the power install coming on the van. So I've got batteries, we've got solar panels, got the DC to DC, and then also they've ordered some Victron, Victron stuff in me for me as well. So the MPPT and a few other bits and pieces, the inverter and stuff, which will be Victron. So all that's happening, but I want to give you guys a look now at the caravan and how it turned out. So he's ready. Yep, sandy top. <laughs> Got the mountains down the side, same as the F truck. A few other companies that really do help me out a lot. Laser, Ink and Scratch, my earth moving company, Mitz Alley, Method, Toyo Tires. Got a couple more to go on there yet, just waiting for their logos to show up. F Tech here on the back. Just got these. Crash pad, I was waiting for these for a few weeks, they were on back order. But got crash pad uh, bin bags, these things are sick. So be able to put all our rubbish in the back here instead of having the bloody plastic bag that we had. Um, van is very dusty from coming in my road. So this is like a, it's called a matrix material. So it's kind of like a little honeycomb right over in a matte finish. And then we've got the F-Tech, obviously logos on the side there, design, build, explore down there. And then we'll come around to the big side, can see everything on this side pretty good. Sandy Torp with the mountains. And we've got the big OG logo there with the website. But yeah, it's just basically just a big printed, these are all die cut, these ones here are die cut onto the material. But this is just one big print down the side and then Trent sticks it up along the top and then basically goes along and cuts everything out, lays it all down flat and he's done an absolute 
wicked job. If I'd done that, I'd have bubbles all through it. But it's absolutely, you can see the, the mirror there from the sky. It's absolutely perfect. Did such a sick job. And it just makes the van look so new and not all faded like it was. So we've got the matrix here on the front as well. You see it's like a like a honeycomb pattern. The van is dusty at the moment. Got the new design there, the new logo, which I'm doing on the hats and stuff at the moment, and the new merch that'll be coming very soon. This bloody cold front that's coming, have a go at it. <laughs> it's starting to blow a gale. It is absolutely freezing here, but I want to show you guys the van. I love it. It looks so sick, hooked up to the truck. It looks absolutely awesome. I got some shots the other night of it uh, hooked up. When we came out of uh, Trent's workshop, very late at night, getting it all dialed, getting it all done. But yeah, just showing you guys that you can, if you don't like the look of your van or if you've got one of the little smaller hybrid vans and you want to do like your own custom design down the side of it, it's something that you can absolutely do if you don't like the design that's on it. Just wrap it in your own bloody big branding for your, for your business name and all the rest of it. So that way it's just a billboard going down the road. Um, you might just want to change the whole design in general. You might want to do some, do a theme or something down the side of your van, something cool. Have bloody Gary and Sharon on, written on the back. Oh, it's freezing out here. I'm going back inside. <laughs> oh, it's so cold outside. But let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like it? I rate it. I think it looks sick. Ties in with the truck so well with the uh, the mountains and the sandy torp. And initially we had all the front sandy torp, but I ended up changing that to the matrix. Did the matrix on the back as well with the uh, the logos and stuff. And I think it looks really cool. I really uh, really rate it. But yeah, it's probably not something that many people think of is is wrapping their caravan and doing their own sort of custom graphics down the side of it um, to make it their own and. Um, help with their branding of their business or something like that so yeah definitely hit up ink and scratch hit up trent down there i'll have his links in the description if you want to hit him up for a price on wrapping your caravan so the next mod that we're going to be doing to the caravan we'll be doing the power install so that's going to be coming up very shortly working with some new companies that i'm super excited about with that as well that have jumped on board that want to help out they're also going to be doing some some work to the suspension underneath the caravan so that's another video that's going to be coming as well yeah get this thing dialed saved a bunch of money by buying a cheaper van and then fixing it up with these different components better power just wrapping the van some wheels and tires and saving ourselves potentially 50 to 60 thousand uh, dollars from buying one of these top name branded vans where this thing is pretty much it's good enough for us it does everything i need it to do it's got a really high ground clearance uh, it's great off-road it was it was awesome on fraser the only things that let it down were these little improvements that we're going to do on the power and stuff like that so it's just uh yeah basically it was just changing the look making sure it had good wheels and tires we're going to do the power install we're going to fix the suspension Make sure that's all dialed, wheel bearings, brakes, all that sort of stuff, go right through all that. And make sure it's just a good, solid, honest van. And yeah, and super excited for the uh, the trips that are ahead to come this year. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good.